Welcome to March. Welcome to March. You know, it's or, kind of the first. It is March, yes. It is March, yes. It's the first time we've kind of been back in See, studio. This is right there. <laughs> it's March. Yeah, we've done we've done oh, three remotes in a row. It. Can you see it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, my head's yeah. in the way. Yeah. See, there's March. <laughs> but yeah, we did three um, off-site, off on location. Mm -hmm. You know, we're done with the Olympics and the Oscars, and yeah. now we're in cold and flu season. I, yeah. Oh, man. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I sound like a bullfrog. I mean, it's ridiculous. She's riveting every once oh, in a while. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been, it's fun to work with a cold, let me tell you. It's kind of hard, right? I mean, it is you're, hard. You're focusing, and, yeah. and then you're just all of a sudden gone, and then yeah. you have to refocus. And I know. I've, I've gone through so much cleanness. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, let's see, Sudafed, NyQuil, DayQuil, Mucinex, Kleenex, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. X. Yeah, go buy stock in it, because I've kept up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So anyway, but um, yeah, it's still it's still busy despite being kind of. Boggy. I know you got to plow through it, right? Oh because my gosh, we are in through. the. It's getting. Busy. Yeah, it's getting. Yeah, it's and it's been a little bit different this year because it's been a little slower start. Mm -hmm. I think really the weather yeah. has done, had a lot to do with it. I agree. Um, so we're still. Um, I you know on March first, which was what day? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So Friday morning on, you know, we, on our, what we call our hot sheet on the multiple, you know, you see all new listings posted and all that. It was like, shh, big list. So I think everybody was focusing on, we're going to put our house on the market March 1st. Oh. And we saw a lot of homes just, that was kind of like a big day big where you get new things on the market. So um, things are coming, mm -hmm. but it has been a little bit slower start just because of the weather. Weather. Yeah. So what are you seeing as far as, so you said a lot of listings, are they, um, are they Ames? Or are they outside of Ames? They're all are over. They... Um, you know, Ames obviously is our largest market. Right. You know, like I just did from population standpoint. But I looked. I said I looked to see how many single family homes are on the market just in Story For County. County. Okay, mm -hmm. we have 150. Oh. So I just spread that all over. Kind of it really isn't a lot right. when you have to break it down then by price range. Yeah. So you've got 150 single family, 45 what we call condo or townhomes. Okay, okay? and 11 acreages, but Six of those are also classified under single family. Oh, the acreages, right? The... Because you know you can have an acreage or like a rural subdivision. Okay. Okay, where you have a uh, all the lots are about acre, mm -hmm. acre to two acre size, but it's not an acreage where you can have animals and oh, right, no and chickens. outbuildings, no chickens, <laughs> that kind of thing. So it isn't on an acreage, but it's also really more of a single family on a large lot. Okay. So some properties like that are classified under both. You know, right. so uh, really only probably about six true acreages wow. you know, on the market in Story County. So in Story County, when I'm looking at an acreage, mm -hmm. am I looking at a, am I looking at an average price range of $500,000 for an acreage or like what? No, what you I'm, can get, you can get, you can get a real range, you know, you see, so you, you'll find some like this old harm, uh, an old homestead, you know, okay. that's yeah. still like a few acres and the farmland is mm -hmm. no, no longer part of that property. So you can get a, a but it's definitely an older home. Yes. You know, so you can get something, you know, like 200 that. range or whatever, right. but then yes, you can go way up to the 700 range. Right. So yeah. Right. It just depends on. Yeah. yeah. So well, acreages gonna... are, there's no, you know, acreages are real apples and oranges, you know, right. you, you either have the whole the the old house that you're like, do I really want to live in this house? Right. Or somebody uh, who bought eight acres and put a really nice house on it. With oh, a pond, you know, right. kind of thing. So yeah. Right. So if I'm a buyer, so if there's only 150 houses and I've only got say 10 houses in my price range. Right. There you go. <laughs> so if <laughs> I'm going to make a decision. Yeah. <laughs> right. So say, so what does that look like then? Yeah. Well, you know, it's right now, if you're in, so let's say you're in your your first home yet. Okay, mm -hmm. you've you've been there four, five, six years. We have a little bit more inventory in that move up buyer. Oh. So if you're thinking of moving up, we have good inventory in that price range. And then it'd be easy to sell your house it'd because, be, you're, because right. your house is probably in the first time home buyer. Maybe exactly. If you're the first time home buyer, you're still you're still going to be have a lot of action on your house because they're just limited inventory in that price range. So so what yeah. happens? Because I know that I so. Um, houses that have been on the market, do you see, is that somebody, a lot of people trying to, because the housing market, like, I'm going to try to ask this and they're not yeah, getting it. Little, yeah, mean, you see a little bit of that. Yeah. I was just wondering. You know, because yeah. we, you know, whenever I'm out and about, people always ask me, how's the market? Oh, I hear things are selling really fast. And that's been that way for about three years now. And so everybody thinks that everything's just selling right away and, and for more than full price. And we've had a lot of that, but not, that's not every scenario, but it right. does happen quite often. So you have that kind of mentality. Well, I'll ask a little bit more because I can always come down. Well, 
that's true, but if you do that, you might be um, discouraging some people that might be in your right, range to, from even right? looking right. because, you know, when you qualify people, yes. you can qualify up to X. Well, people aren't going to look above what they're qualified for. Right. So if you think that you're going to attract somebody to come down, they're thinking, well, I'm not even going to try. Right. Because you don't, I, cause I don't I think people want to be rude sometimes. Right. Too. You don't want to be rude. Yeah. I don't want to <laughs> insult you. Right. right. So if right. you're qualified at 250 right. and their house is at 300, right. they're not even going to. They're not even going to bother even right. though you're like okay i was just putting it there just to see if i could get it right, right? exactly yeah yeah huh. so you know buyers buyers are going to just look at a certain price range where they're qualified for and then it, also if you're then you're trying to bump your price up into the next price range as a seller you've got those buyers that are looking in that range and that, comparing you to those oh. in the upper range and will they see value in your price or will mm. they see that you're not as i don't know but yeah. it's you have to be very careful to overprice your house right. you know so you could be losing out on a quicker sale and you could be losing out on potential buyers because they may not even be looking at you. Hmm. Yeah. So what do you find? So as first time home buyers, and I, I know there's a big price difference mm -hmm. between, you know, obviously Ames Metro. Right. I love calling Ames Metro. <laughs> um, and, yeah. um, and then the rural areas. So as you're, as you're counseling a buyer right. for something like that, so say, I've pre-approved them, you know, for hundred and sixty thousand mm -hmm, dollar, right? You know, purchase price range. Mm -hmm, yeah. What can they expect, kind of looking at that? And yeah, you're going to be a little tough in Ames. You know, um, you can buy a little bit more house, um, maybe a little bit um, newer house, maybe in maybe the Nevada, Story City, Boone, um, Ogden areas than you can in Ames because our price per square foot's a little higher. higher. Uh, just that supply and demand thing. So, and in that 160 range, you're probably going to be looking at something where you go, you have an appointment. We we're looking at it, but it's occupied by student rental. Oh. <laughs> so sometimes it'll, you know, so it might be that kind of category of a house. Okay. You know, a little bit older home uh, has, may have been used as a rental, maybe not, but sometimes right. you find those. But if you're under under 160, you can certainly find a townhome in this market. Oh, interesting. You know, so that. You know, that's an option that's to an maybe option. think about Absolutely. too. Yeah. And on my end, you just need to make sure you let me know because then we have association dues mm -hmm. to add into your payment yeah. to make there sure you, you qualify at the same purchase mm -hmm. price. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so you're getting an, you know, you're getting a, you know, 800 square foot ranch maybe okay. in that 160 category. So. So what are you? Are you still finding in our in a certain price range or multiple offers coming in right now, or is it kind of settled down from? It's settled down a little bit. Um, I mean, I, it's it's hard to. Hard we're not quantify. quite into it right now. We're not now, quite right? into it yet. I, we're kind of feeling the surge. You in our office, we've been talking about that. We're kind of feeling a little bit of a late surge. So hmm. I think we're going to be some. You know, I've got a lot of people looking right now, and they're anxious, but they're just waiting for that right home to come on the market. Right. Actually, we were just talking in our office, too, mm -hmm. that yeah. I think I have 15 people pre-approved. Right. That's a lot of people yep. that just haven't found a house. Exactly. So there's there's opportunities for sellers out there to. That's what I would you're say. Thinking if you're about, thinking about selling mm -hmm, yeah. or moving up or doing that. It's yeah. a great opportunity. It is to a do good that. time because there is there's good move up inventory. We're we're lacking a little bit on that first time home buyer. Yeah. Right. And that's really been our lack of inventory for several years. A lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think kind of nationwide even. Uh, it has been. Yeah. And that, you can't right? you can't build that price no. anymore. I mean that's just impossible to right. can't you build can't. a first time home buyer home. Right, right. So if you're thinking about a tiny a, house, a tiny house. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I can finance a tiny house. That's a new. That's a whole new category. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if this because I think allows you can either. move tiny houses, and yeah. I, I need you to be secure to a foundation. Right, exactly. So. <laughs> Can't just be tied to a stick in the ground. No, no, okay, okay. no I can't yeah. do that. Yeah. So, you know, uh, and when you talk about days on market, how long a house oh. lasts on the market. Yeah. So when I talk about it's been a little slower than last year, last year at this time, our, our days on market were uh, about 73 days on the market. It was your average time your house was listed before you had an accepted offer is what that okay. means, days on market. This year right now, at the end of February, is 81. Oh. So a little longer. A little longer. So, yeah, but still not bad. But Pretty it's, good. it's a, definitely a, a little bit of a change from last year. Right. So, so that's yeah. good expectations as a mm -hmm. seller just to kind of know that just yep. a few more days, the market's not quite as... Not as snappy. Not as snappy. And <laughs> like you said, and kind of I think we've seen, like mm -hmm. it's like usually March 1st, right? We're just all like, yeah. boom! It's ready to go. Yeah. Because, you know, we make hay 
from March to September, really, in this market. We're very dictated by the school cycle, yeah. which a lot of markets are, but even more so here because of the university. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody's kind of thinking about moving. They don't want to move until after school's out, right. and they want to be moved in <laughs> before school starts. So yes. it's kind of a crunch time. Yeah. So um, I think the weather's supposed to turn up to about 50 next week. Woo! All right. Hey. Get out so there. Get your houses if you're not, If you're not going on spring break to some, someplace where there is sun, right. hopefully we'll have it here. <laughs> You know, right. So, what do you, I, what do you say to sell? So if somebody's listening to this and they're just like, you know what? I've been thinking about selling my house and wow, I'm thinking about moving up, mm -hmm. but wow, my house isn't quite ready to put, like, I feel like it's not quite ready mm -hmm. to put on the market. Right. Like sometimes first steps, I think, first people, steps. I think people have a hard time with, what do I do? Well, it's a little overwhelming to think about all these things I have to do. And sometimes I'll come in and tell them. Don't. You know, you don't need to do all that stuff. You right. know, there. I'll give them some quick tips on what you need to do. And obviously, the first thing is to declutter. Right, <laughs> that's pretty standard <laughs> on anything you look up. So you know, and that's just you're if you're not going to move it, just you know, donate it, yeah. throw it, or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, just getting things decluttered and cleaning, and then you know, if we think you need to do some updating on mm -hmm. some certain things, we can talk about that. But you don't want to overdo it either. Right. So you just want right. to get it, you know, show ready. Right. In mm -hmm. our market, because I know that there's kind of a date, like get it on the market, right? Because mm -hmm. we also have a renter's market here. Yeah, we do. And so they and that's want, where some of those first-time home buyers are coming from. Yes. And so they want to close by June. Right. Because their lease is at July 31st. Yes. So they've been renting for three or four years. They're, you know, ready to get into that first home. They've got to start looking here now, you know, because they're, they've already said we're not going to renew our lease. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so. They're, they at least want to. They, mm -hmm. they need to do something. So exactly. kind of getting it on the market. Yep. It's um, time is of the essence. Yeah. Regard, so get so. somebody in to kind of take a look at the house. Yeah. And then, we can give you an idea of what yeah. you need to do or what you don't need to do. Right. Because I think sometimes that's the case, right? Like, I think I have to do all these things. Right. Well, no. Yeah. You don't have to have Chip and Joanna come in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just have Kayla and Lisa. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah, you don't have to chip in Joanna your house just to sell it. No. But, yeah. No. So, chip in but. Joanna. <laughs> That's okay. <so funny. laughs> maybe we can hashtag them and they'll listen to maybe us next could. time. Yeah, maybe we could. Awesome. Yeah, have them right. as a guest sometime. We look good together, right? Yeah, we're, we're matching we're today. Kind of, yeah. Really yeah. Really coordinated really well. That's exactly. So, well, anyway, if you have any more questions about the current market or if you're mm -hmm. thinking about putting your home on the market, yeah. And um, if you're ready to buy, just give us a call. We're, we're here to help. And we're not, I'm not spring breaking. I'm, yeah. I'm working. Are you? I'm working. I'm yeah. working, even though I'm going to be spring breaking a little bit. But I always, I, I am, I work on my vacations almost all the time. <laughs> I know. Plus I have an amazing loan partner who takes care of things. Like, there you go. So, yeah. yeah. That's so, helpful. So, so yeah. So don't, yeah. Don't great time to yep. kind of look at your options or just, I always think ask the question. Yeah. You know? Yeah, if you don't ask, you don't know. That's true. Yeah, yeah be curious. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good Stay one. Stay away from the cold. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye.